Mastering English. Using where and which in relative clauses. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to dive deeper into defining relative clauses. We'll be focusing on the use of the word where for places and how we can combine where with another relative pronoun, which. This can be a great tool to make your sentences more fluid and sophisticated. So, let's get started. Before we start, let's do a quick recap of where and which. Where is a relative pronoun that we use to refer to places, while which is used to refer to things that have been mentioned previously. For example, I live in a town where the weather is always sunny. I bought a car which is very fuel efficient. Now, let's take a look at how we can combine where with which. We often use these two relative pronouns together when we want to refer to a place and also specify something about that place. For instance, take this sentence. I visited the city where the museum which has the Mona Lisa is located. In this case, we're talking about a city, a place, and we also specify something about this city. It's the location of a particular museum which houses the Mona Lisa. Let's practice with some more examples. I love the park where the bench which we always sit on is. She returned to the village where the house which she grew up in stands. As you can see, these sentences combine where and which to provide specific details about a place. Remember, the clause that starts with where will always describe a place and the clause starting with which will provide additional information about an object or feature of that place. However, we should avoid overcomplicating sentences. If a sentence becomes too long or confusing, it might be better to break it up into smaller sentences. And that's it for today's lesson, folks. We hope this video has helped you understand how to use where and which together in relative clauses. This can add depth and specificity to your English writing and conversations. Keep practicing, and soon it'll be second nature. Remember, language learning is a journey, not a race. Until next time, happy learning!